Alrighty, let's get started on a little deep dive into the setup app on the Clover Station. I'm gonna go start at the home screen, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and click this setup app with the wrench. Now you can see you can customize your business information, your business hours, your logo, you can implement in there as well. See what devices that you have operating now. If you have the Clover lineup, good for you. Of course, you have your orders. Now you can enable order notes so you can make little notes on it. Something like uh, the customer doesn't want something specifically in that item. Maybe no cheese on their on their burger or uh, no lettuce if that's not already in your modifiers. Then you can group identical items into one line, which is nice. Of course, if you have a kitchen printer in the remaining category after adding an item to an order. So if you're ordering something and you know you have a popular category, let's say you're a taco and burrito store and you do a lot of tacos, obviously, you would hit this here. So when you click into your tacos, it's not going to take you back to your home screen. It's going to keep you in the taco category. Then you have your order receipts as well. You can uh, opt in for the larger font. Uh, you can reprint order receipts. Uh, if you're going to do that, it can require the manager password. You can see all the different options here, like use alternative inventory names, group line items, etc., etc. Go into payments here. You can customize what payments that you accept, whether it's gift cards, check, cash, credit cards, pin debit, cash discount all works together and of course your payment receipts customize all your receipts you can automatically print receipts wait till after if you're a sit down restaurant you want to automatically print the bill mark items as printed when printing a bill so you know all right all the items were served to the customer they were printed on the kitchen printer and reflected on the customer's bill you can even have your logo on the receipt itself here's an example receipt on your right side you can even put a barcode on there so you can scan that barcode and complete that transactions without going into the ordering app selecting on that uh, open order and then adding payment you can just scan the barcode which can be done on the bottom left corner you can see there's the barcode Boom. additional charges like taxes or any service fees delivery fees that you may charge pretty self-explanatory Taxes and fees are, of course, your New York state sales tax if you are in New York, any city taxes or COVID-19 taxes that we've been seeing popping up on Long Island. And lastly, tips. You can, of course, enable ask for tip right away on the screen or any of your smaller devices. Tip entry location on the tablet, or you can select, of course, your printed receipt. Very nice and easy to do. Gonna get it and save. Then tip suggestions. Pretty self-explanatory. You can customize the tip percentage suggestion and the tip label like good, great, wow, best service ever, whatever you, it is you want to put there. Go ahead and click save. So that's the setup app on the Clover Station, which also looks the same with the Clover Flex and the Clover Mini. Now, the only thing that would change here is if you, uh, if you didn't get the register plan or the sit down restaurant plan certain plans uh eliminate certain things on here so make sure you're set up with a full plan if you're a sit down restaurant or if you don't need a lot of these things just go with the regular basic plan which is only 9.99 with clover thank you for watching